Here's my latest Raspberry Pi project. It's an indoor positioning system using an ultrasonic sensor. It's based on the idea of trilateration. And the way that works is you can take three distance measurements and from that compute an intersection point. So what you do is you put one sensor at the origin and, that, and, and find the distance. Then you move to another position, take another distance reading. And so the intersection of two circles is two points. And then you take a third measurement here. And then the intersection of all three circles is the point. And what you do is you write the equation of the three circles and then through simultaneous equations you solve them to get uh, two sets of uh, uh, coordinates and then you run a uh, check against the third equation to figure out which one is the correct one. Here's what the math looks like. I'll leave it as an exercise to the student uh, to go through all this. It, it's just basic algebra. It gets a little tedious. When you get all done, here's what uh, the y-axis uh, coordinate point equations look like. And, and that's fairly readable, you know, by a human, but a, a machine can't read that. So I had a little bit of trouble converting that to a machine-readable form, uh, as shown here on the top, with all the nested parentheses. Uh, so that took a while, but I finally got it. Over here on the Raspberry Pi, this is the ultrasonic sensor, and the way it works is it sends out a 40 kilohertz ultrasonic ping for 10 microseconds, and then there's a microphone on it that hears the echo. So the distance is proportional to the time. So the Python program uh, gets two timestamps. Uh, sub subtracts them to calculate the time, then uh, does some math with the speed of sound to calculate the distance. The sensor puts out a, a 5 volt output signal, which is too hot for the Raspberry Pi. So I create a voltage divider. I got a resistor here and here, and then I take the uh, signal off that and send it to the Raspberry Pi. I've also got it running with my cell phone battery uh, to power it. So the whole thing is uh, completely independent with no, uh, you know, cords coming off it, going anywhere. Then the final piece of it, I've got my iPad logged into the Raspberry Pi through a SSH connection. So I've got the program loaded up. Uh, let's run it and uh, see how it works. Uh, what I've done is I've got a, a target, just a cardboard box. Uh, ultrasonic sensors need to have hard surfaces and they need to be a, a certain minimum size and I guess this box meets that requirement. And so, and I've got the Pi set up at the origin. The, the box is set up at uh, the coordinates of 13 on the x-axis and 9 on the y-axis. So those are the values uh, that we're going to be looking for. Okay, so I'm going to run the program. And what it asks you to do first is to set the uh, sensor at the origin and then hit any number key. So I'll do that now. Okay, so what it's saying is that the box is at a distance of 15.56 inches from the origin and now it wants me to move to the second position uh, and then input the coordinates of where the sensor is at the second position. Okay, so I'm going to do that. So I'm going to bring it over here and I'll set it, uh, let's see. I'll set it at x equals 16 and y equals 2. And it's important to get this kind of as accurate as you can. Uh, 
Okay. Uh, so what I say sixteen two. Okay, so I'm going to input that. And what it's saying now is the distance from the sensor to the box is 7.67 inches. Okay, and now it wants me to move it to a third position, so I'll do that and repeat the process. Let me get it positioned just right here. So the I'm going to the, have the sensor at um, 19 on the X and 12 on the Y. Okay, 19 and 12. Let me get this thing positioned accurately. All right. I'll come over here. I'll input 19. And 12. So it did the trilateration calculation, and what it's saying is the target coordinates are at 12.74 and 8.94, uh, which is just about perfect, right? Because I set the thing at, um, I set it at, at 13 inches on the X and the uh, positioning system says 12.74 uh, at 9 on the y-axis and I got 8.94 so it found it within well, about a quarter of an inch uh, which is pretty good okay so there you go that's my latest Raspberry Pi project indoor positioning system